A Kansas City developer wants to turn the attention to the river by transforming an old rusted out bridge in the West Bottoms. KCTV 5's Abigail James has more now on this vision to turn the old Rock Island Railroad Bridge into a Kansas City marquee destination. It was year 1905 when the Rock Island Railroad Bridge was built. Fully loaded freight trains would rumble over the bridge to serve the nearby Stockyards District. And now, nearly 50 years after its tracks were disconnected, a Kansas City developer by the name of Michael Zeller has decided to bring it back to life. What the engineers tell us is that we can build very spacious cantilevers, cantilevers out of steel off the sides of this bridge to create new real estate for places to a dance floor, for a food hall, for a venue. As long as we stay balanced, we can go way out on this bridge, which we intend to do over time. The bridge is owned by Kansas City, Missouri, yet it sits in the state of Kansas. Flying Trust Development Firm, who Zeller is the founder of, is leasing it from KCMO for 50 years. And the partner in this multifaceted project is KCK. We could have Fourth of July celebrations here, art fairs, craft beer festivals. You could have a wedding out here. Zeller says there are two phases to the project. They are looking into the possibility of doing a bond to put the public trail across it. That would be phase one with some modest services, a coffee bar, a cabana bar, some gathering spaces. The second phase will transform the 1905 bridge into a bustling entertainment center and food hall, all while connecting the two states with the trailway. And this is just furthering the connectivity is to actually connect um, all of our trail systems so that you can go from the West Bottoms to Strawberry Hill and never have to be on a street. As for the West Bottoms, Jeff Foster with the High V Arena says it's projects like this one that'll continue to revitalize that historic area. Anything that, that helps bring people down here helps the arena, helps our tenants, helps the visibility of downtown Kansas City, and uh, it's unique. This could become one of the signature pieces of the Kansas City landscape, what we're known for. Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Pretty cool idea. So if everything goes according to their plan, they hope to start construction this fall with an opening day around the 4th of July next year.